aka what is good this is archangel Raphael, aka emeralds of chihila aka jesus krishna muhammad buddha shiva as well as other known deities and not the body as well as usual i'm here to carry out god's will authority purity presence and essence and on today's video this is the astral man ain't got nowhere to land let's switch you this is the family man stretching out my right hand go ahead and grab on let's take off together all right, this is the this, this is God married to the universe. This is life married to karma. If you ain't know, you finna know now that you are God. We are God. We are not separate from God. We make up what God is, individually and collectively together. I am God. So um, as the as change being the only universal constant, this is Doctor Change. You ain't never had no one to blame. Always took a stand on what I am. Okay, so um. This video is gonna be a real special one. As you can see, the, the intro was was flawless. It was full right into it better than that, uh, any other. So every single video is that progressive storyline. It's exactly where this channel's heading, and um, not just that. It's never ending, but there will be an end once I get to that place. You finna see exactly how the fuck I got there, cause I was all about the documentation. I just had to get the right things implanted. So. You know, I'm feeling myself today. Already, uh, the sun out. Weather's nice. It's, it's looking like it's transitioning perfectly in the springtime. A little bit after Valentine's just now. So, uh, you know, me being on my lonely, I got some love and respect to express on this video for not just um, all of y'all, but of course myself. And um, the, the truth of the matter is that when you're working towards your spirituality, right? Atoning these talents and these spiritual gifts that you have and really perfecting them and honing in on them What you got to know is that not only does it take a lot of work on your part It actually takes a lot of faith and courage that you got to muster up and plant the right seeds in. And it doesn't just mean, you know, physically it actually can mean esoterically Of course, it's in alignment physically, but what, I, what I'm really trying to say is Spiritually speaking when you when you sense that every little bit of work that you came here to do in this lifetime Especially if it's an incarnation, like like most of y'all on this channel, you know, we're all about the incarnation. Shout out to the whole angelic force. Shout out to the whole, uh, you know, flight squad, all the archangels. Uh, if you're if you're a demon, you can become an angel. That's what the angelic force is for. And if you're if you're a fallen archangel, fuck like me, then um, you know, <laughs> that's the flight squad. You know, so don't worry, I'm here to take you up. So. It's all about one thing, and I'm here to give you your wings back because you ain't getting it through no one else with me. So um, this is the one thing that I want to perfect, right, is the symmetry axis of alignment of how can I be in just this, this like total divine fruition of being in alignment with, with creating exactly what it is that I intend. Because as long as I'm intending and I have the right intentions, there's nothing that can get in the way. So, so, so it's all about, you know, working through the the expression of heaven, ha haven, heaven, to really have the insightful, uh, you know, boundless motherfucking eyes to see. So you got to go with them for that. You got to really, this is the right bus. You're on the right flight. Go ahead and catch it with me. get to that okay now i got eyes to see now i can really travel now i'm feeling me now i'm not dependent on these desires and, and just the fleshly fluid body now i'm really using it as what i can and what i'm what i'm supposed to you know do anyways so in reality what you gotta know is um that's what I work out of and from there's only a few things that align with yourself these few things have exactly to do everything with what you're here to do and, and not what you're supposed to think you're you know to work on or hone in on but every time you every time you go towards that way some gets in the way you don't really feel yourself anymore so for example you know you got to get some money you got to work for your income you got to work for your independence you got to work for it a lot of times it's going it's going to take things that you don't want to do that's why i suggest you you know come out of that spherical 
understanding of just motherfucking time. You know, time and space. Because when you really have it, it's not something that you gotta be inside of. Because you're the one that creating it. So it's not something that you gotta be, you know, bounded by type, sh- type shit. It's, it's a freedom of expression that you're gonna hone in on to motherfucking utilize to the best of your natural insights to create something brand new. And that's what it means to be capable. It's not just you being, um, following through, you know, all of the, all the things that summoned you, perhaps, if you're, especially if you're energy like me, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna come to earth. Earth has been this foundational planting seed for a long, long, you know, journey for different souls of different far out distances to come in, you know, you utilize the space as a, as a training ground, essentially. So when you, when, when you're utilizing things that summoned you and the creative, outwardly expressive creations that um, a lot of aliens and humans have utilized to express what it is you're here to do, what you got to know is that those things are not the center point axis of exactly how to fuck you orient yourself. So if you're not an entity like me, that's not something you got to worry about. What you just got to worry about is becoming the entity like me, which is what I'm, I'm here to help both of y'all, all of y'all. So that's how you get to the next and the next and the next is having this heart to go straight up. You know, you got to get through the six dimensional awareness. You got to go through the, 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 the fifth um, root of, you know, the sunlight, the uh, sunlight, to take that walk, essentially, to take that stand, then feel yourself, and then to, when you're thirsty and you need water, you need hydration, to go and get that, to go and feel that, to go in, you know, really soak in and bathe in, and then, and then when the heart wants to connect, let, let, let it be thy so, like, so to see, so, forward on words. So you will bestow, okay? Some out, yes. That's how it works. That's how it feels. And naturally, the shit's gonna get even more real when you start to express it. When you start to really, uh, you know, work with it. You know, create with it. And then next thing you know, you see the insights. You see the the th- the third eye per se. And the shit you need to see is gonna be seen. So it can't be avoided. You can walk around the shit, you don't gotta walk into it, <laughs> okay? So, um, that's when you gotta get to the all the way. Put your crown on, right? Utilize where you wanna go, really travel, right? So yeah, this is, this is, the, this is the sheet hill, we getting a little ruler. Can you catch a fill up? Tell me not, tell me not. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, you know, health, wealth, and abundance, peace, love, and enlightenment. Be well, be more thou. Remember, make sure, don't forget, make sure you love yourself. And um, if you're a man, I'm here to lead you the right way. If you're a woman, I'm here to teach you how to take the throne of God, aka my motherfucking dick. Yeah, so yeah, um. You know, don't be fooled. Don't be afraid to be a fool and, and go after your heart's aims. You're always going to come out on top. You ain't got to worry. You ain't got to stress. You ain't got to f- be in anxiety or shame or guilt or none of that low vibrational shit. When you're truly walking through it and you're getting to where you got to get to, it's just going to happen. Cause you're gonna you're gonna put it into implementation. When you do that, over repetitively it comes becomes a second nature. You have no choice but to step into the. Oh, I am the one. I am Neo in the Matrix. If you're a female, I am Trinity. So, anyways, you know we're all chosen ones. So it's not like some shit that. You know, only certain are privileged. No. 
you become a chosen one by your heart. Not just that, but what the fuck you do to get to the place you got to get to. It's like, I'm going to walk you, walk you through it. I'm going to sit your ass down and make sure you can actually get acquainted with the real shit. So, anyways, see ya.